Hi, Miss Holly's class. Who is ready for today? I am. So let's go ahead and start with our hug. Oh, squeeze tight. Thank you for doing that with Miss Holly every day. I love it. Okay, let's get our pledge. Let's get our flag. Let's get ready to do it. Okay, hand on heart. Stand big and tall. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good job, Miss Holly's class. I think I asked my other classes, do y'all have a flag at home or have you just been using Miss Holly's class watching the video? I was just wondering. Okay, let me get my pointer. Okay, what month is it? It's the same one. We should all know April, and April starts with A. So today is, everybody say, Thursday. Thursday, April. Let's see where our number is today. Okay. Okay, 23. Wow, that's a big number. We're almost to the end. So let's count. Count with me, count loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That is a big number. We're almost to the end. All right. Oops. Don't want to lose my flag. Okay. So we're gonna review our colors today and we're gonna go through these pretty quick because I know you know these. So are y'all ready to do kind of a fast round? I'm just gonna hold them up like this and fold them down and you tell me the color. So what's the first one? White, blue, say it loud, purple, orange, pink, yellow, Black, green, red, gray, and our last one is brown. Good job. How did everyone do? I know you did a good job. Okay. So, we are going to practice again our Mother's Day songs. Let me see if Miss Holly can find her papers. Okay. We sang these on Tuesday, and so maybe you have a little, little bit better idea when we sing them today. We'll do them every week, and then like I said, maybe you'll be ready to sing them for your mom. She'll love it. Okay, our first one is We Love Mothers. So, we love mothers, we love mothers. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. We love you. Thank you, mothers. Thank you, mothers, for your love, for your love. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. We love you. Moms are going to love that song. Then our next one, this one's kind of a little fun one. This one is, listen as I sing this song. So are you ready? Listen as I sing this song, telling you about my mom. She can cook and she can clean. She can wash my dirty blue jeans, but the thing she does so well is to make me feel so swell. Yay! Good job, Miss Holly's class. I know you're going to get these. We'll keep practicing them. 
Okay. All right, so today, since we're finished with all of our numbers, we've done one through 10, and you did an excellent job. So today, we're gonna do a little bit of review on all of our numbers. So you should have a page <coughs> that has one through 10, every number in a circle. And then you should have a page that has blank circles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna need our scissors. So if you don't have your scissors, you're gonna need to go get them because we're gonna cut out each one of these circles. So this is gonna take a little while. You're gonna get your scissors, hold them the right way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these in half right through here and make it a little bit easier to cut them up, okay? All right, so you're just gonna take your scissors and go around each one and just take your time on the line. This is gonna take a little while. So if, like I said, just take your time. If you don't get done, just why don't you just hit, you can just hit pause on the video and cut out all of your numbers. And then when you're all done, you can come back and we'll be ready to do the gluing part. But Miss Holly's gonna go ahead and cut these out. So if you wanna do it with me, you can. And if I get done before you, then just stop. Y'all can look and see if Miss Holly's doing a good job. What do you think? So I'm just opening and closing and then I'm just turning my paper as I go. Miss Holly's been cutting using scissors for a long time. But y'all are all good cutters. You are really good with scissors. Be sure you hold your scissors the right way, the thumb on top. Don't turn them upside down and cut, okay? Like I said, and just take your time. You don't have to hurry. I just have a couple more to do. I just want you to try your best. Okay, I have two more. Has everybody been having a good week? Have you been doing anything fun this week? We've had a couple of pretty days. It's been sunny. Hope you've been outside. All right. All right, so then you get them all cut out. Then you're gonna have your paper, your blank paper, and we're gonna do some gluing. So I'm just gonna take my glue bottle, but you can use your glue stick if you want to. And I'm just gonna put glue dots on each circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten circles just right for our numbers. So now I want everybody to find the number one and we're going to put it at the top. So we have one and the next is two. If I find the number two, that one goes next. Then we're going to find the number three. See what we're doing? We're going in order. Four. Five. Can everybody find six? Six. What's after six? Seven. Eight. Nine. And then our last number is the number 10. And number 10, look here, we have all of our numbers glued on. You can leave it like that. Miss Holly thought we would make a caterpillar out of it. So, I'm gonna get my marker, and I'm gonna make some legs. The first one on the number one is gonna be the caterpillar's face. So I'm gonna do two dots and a little smile. How about that? And then on all of these, I'm just gonna make some legs.
Is that looking like a caterpillar? I think so. What do you think? You can put some little circles on there for their feet. awesome good job miss holly's class okay now we're going to play a game with the numbers that miss holly had given you and i ask you to call them certain certain colors <clears throat> now if you don't have your numbers all colored that's okay we're, we can use miss holly's but i'm going to show you how to play this game so you can play it at home your mom and dad could play it with you it's going to be like number cards. Do y'all like to play cards? You could hold them up like cards and draw one and see if you know what the number is and see if you know what the color is. So I'm going to lay all these out. Have my numbers. Okay. And instead of 10, we just have zero. Okay. So here we are. So now, like I said, you can just use Miss Holly's if you don't have yours. I want you to tell me which number is blue. Which one of these is blue? This one is. So what number is this? The number two. So if you got it right, turn it over. Okay. What, where is the orange? Which one is orange? Yes, this one. So what number is this one? Eight. Okay, so now let me ask you a number. Which one is the number one? What color is it? Red. See how you can do numbers or colors. Where is the number five? Point to it. And what color is it? Pink. Okay, which one is green? Find the green one, point to it. It's the number Four. How about the number seven? Point to it. What color? Purple. Which one is yellow? And it's the number three. How about the black one? Black one. It's the number six. So we have two left. Which one is the zero? This one, and it is the color gray. And our last one is the color what? Brown, and it is the number nine. They're all turned over, so we got them all right. So something else that you could do with this is you could put them all in your hand show you another game that you could play. And you could play these at home. You could play it with your brother or sister and you can hold them like cards. You like to play card games. And then you could hold them or your mom and dad could hold them. And then you could pull one out, pull one out and say, oh, what number is this one? And you could do another one. You could pull it out. That would be another card game that you could play. That's why Miss Holly had you color these. Okay, you can use those at home. So, I have one story for you. If we had gone to chapel today with uh, Miss Teresa or Miss Pam, we were going to talk about breakfast with Jesus. So, I have a um, Bible story. That we're going to read about this. Let me find my paper clip. Okay, <clears throat> the story is called The Boy Who Shared His Lunch. Do you like to share your lunch? Up, up, up went Jesus, up the big hill. Up, up, up went Jesus' friend, up the big hill. They're going really tall. Up, up, up the big hill went lots of people. Big people, little people, fat people, thin people, sick people, well people, boys and girls too. All kinds of people. 
Jesus saw the people coming. He said hello to them. He made the sick ones better. Then he talked to them about God. Maybe he said, people, God is kind and he is your friend. Jesus talked for a long time, and after a while, the boys and girls started to get hungry. The daddies and the mommies started to get hungry, too. Jesus' friends said, soon it will be dark. Tell the people to go and buy something for their dinner. But Jesus said, you give them something to eat. They were like, oh, my. Us, said his friends? Do you want us to go and buy for food for all of these people? How much bread is there, Jesus said. Go and see. His friends looked. They said, a boy here has five little rolls and two little fish, but that's not enough. Not enough for all these people. Jesus told them, bring the bread and fish to me. Do you think that that boy let Jesus have his lunch? Would you share your lunch? Well, he did. All of it. One, two, three, four, five little rolls and two fish. Do you think Jesus said thank you? Of course. We know he said thank you to God. After that, he broke the bread. He made it grow into more bread. He broke the fish. He made them grow into more fish. Jesus' friends helped. They gave bread and fish to everyone. The little boy got some too. And then everybody ate bread and fish till nobody wanted to eat another bite, not even the little boy. So what did we learn? We learned that Jesus made one, two, three, four, five little rolls and two fish into enough food for lots of people. Because Jesus is strong, Jesus is kind, and Jesus is your friend. That's such a good story. Okay, Miss Holly's class. Well, that is all for today. And we, I will see you tomorrow on Zoom. I'm so excited to see you. So, I hope everyone has a great day. I love you. Bye-bye.